Hello and welcome to solve for the solution to my infamous equation problem. Mm, that was an ugly one, huh? Here it is. And I'm here. So, how do we solve this? Hmm. If you don't know anything about powers, well, this problem is definitely not for you. If you know about powers, well, you will be able to follow along. So, the first thing we're going to do here is um, to change this into the same powers. So we have um, 8 power power n, n plus 1 plus 8 power n. The trick is that you have to um, use the fact that 8 power n plus 1 is actually 8 power n multiplied by multiplied by um, by 8. So that's what he does. And the same here 4 power n is actually 4 power n minus 1 multiplied by 4. So we're going to change this and get that. Now it's a very simple algebra. You have 8 times this plus the, the same, which means 1 times the same. So 8 times this plus 1 times that makes 9 times. And the same here, 4 times this minus 1 times the same makes three times and we get nine and three it's getting simpler but still still not that simple well when you see a three here you have a very very f good feeling about changing this into three power two because nine is three power two and that's what we do he what's that's what we're doing here and uh, also when you say you see eight and four you feel it's about powers of two so you're going to change 8 into 2 power 3 and 4 into 2 power 2. And that's we do what we're going to do here. Now we're going to apply, apply some uh, rules about powers that um, you can distribute actually the powers when you have multiplication like this. Mm. So what do, do we do? Well, we can distribute these two, make 3 power 4 multiplied by 2 power 3 power n power 2, actually you have just to multiply those together. 3n multiplied by 2 makes 6n. And the same here, 3 power 3, but I think we're gonna work on it just in a second. So that's the result. I show you the original. 3 power 2 became 3 power 4. 2 power 3 power n power 2 became 2 power 6n. And for this, we're going to do the same. So 3 is going to become 3 power 3 multiplied by 2 power 2n minus 2 multiplied by 3 makes 2 power 6n minus 6. And this is exactly what we're doing. And that's getting really, really nice. Because um, we have 6n here, 6n there, minus 6. Mm. It's getting very, very interesting. So what do we do now? Um, actually, it's very easy. When you divide by a uh, power, you multiply. You you can multiply by the opposite power. So if you divide by 3 power 3, it's the same as if you multiply by 3 power minus 3. And the same here, if you divide by this by 2 power 6 and minus 6, it's the same as if you multiply by 2 power minus 6n plus 6 and that's exactly what we are doing now we rearrange all those powers to put the 3 and the 2's together that makes this and uh, when we have 3 power 4 multiplied by 3 minus 3 we can rearrange it again like this and you see that we're reaching the end because 4 minus 3 makes 1 and 6 and minus 6 and plus 6 those are going to disappear and we reach this 3 power 1, power 1 multiplied by 2 Ooh, I'll make it 2 power 6 you 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 change it like this and you f get the final answer which is 192 and this is the value of C 
and uh, as you see there were no need to know what was the value of n and um, I hope you enjoyed this program this program whoa I hope you enjoyed this problem <laughs> and uh, see you next time for next problem which um, I promised you has no algebra whatsoever bye bye see you next time